The Smart Warp feature gives you a whole new way to animate with vector rigs inside of Moho Pro 12. You can use this to achieve unique effects that were otherwise very difficult to pull off in previous versions of Moho. The best way to showcase this is to dive right in. Let's preview this really quick. This is Batgirl, a new rig, a part of the Moho Pro 12 family. Let's say we would like to add a little bit more to this animation. Perhaps a pull or stretch effect whenever a quick motion, such as the head turn, occurs. We'll now want to make a mesh inside of the Batgirl rig. So we'll click inside the Batgirl rig, and we'll come up here and make a new vector layer. We'll name this vector layer Mesh. There we go. Now, you'll want to come over here to the Create Shape tool and grab the new Mesh tool. Set your grid so it's 20 horizontal and 20 vertical. You can change this to suit your needs. We'll come down here now to the canvas, and we're just going to click and drag and cover the whole canvas with our mesh. You'll now want to go up to Draw, and choose Triangulate 2D Mesh. This, once you select it, will show you a pattern with the mesh. This will give you a good idea of what the mesh will do once you apply it to your vectors. We want the mesh to follow the character as she flies around, so we'll bind the mesh layer to the torso bone on the character. So let's just zoom in here with the mesh selected. With the Bind Layer tool, we'll click on that torso bone to make the connection. As you can see now, when we play this out, you can see that the mesh is following the character. You'll now need to assign all of your vector layers to the mesh, and you can do so through the layer settings. To make this easier, let's come up here to this drop down menu and choose Kind Contains, and now search for Vector. That way, only your vector layers appear, and you can easily select Ears, which is your first vector on the list, excluding Mesh, of course. Hold and Shift, scroll down, and click on Wing Left to select all layers. Come up to the Layer Settings button, go to Vectors on your tabs, come down to Smart Warp Layer, and choose Mesh. Also make sure to copy all vector settings to other selected layers. And once you're good, you can click OK or hit Enter. Now, let's just come up here. We're going to clear the search. That way we can see all of our layers. We want to come in here now, and you can see that nothing has changed yet. But with the mesh, we can now make those changes. Let's click on that mesh. And just coming in here, we're going to work with the head, as I said, that head turn example. And we can create a distortion with that to help with the emphasis of the speed. So what we'll do here with the mesh is using Control F or Command F, we'll place poses down on frame 11. And then we'll advance to, let's say, frame 14. You're going to take the Transform Points tool, and you can come in here now and start moving the points around. As you can see, as we move these points, it's altering the way the vector looks. We can also use the Magnet tool to move multiple points at once to cover more area. So in the case of the head turn, we can create this look like the head is trying to catch up. Come back here and you can kind of see how this looks. We'll insert a keyframe there to create the effect that's snapping so that it goes away. Just copy those first keyframes and paste them. You can make further modifications as you go. Get even more of a exaggerated head turn look. And as you can see, there's really limitless possibilities when it comes to working with these meshes. We'll insert another pose here with Command F, and let's just work with the skirt and the leg. We can come in here and try to pull those things out as she makes this movement. And again, these are very subtle changes we're making, but once we're good there, once again, we'll just copy these frames and paste them over here. That way, we can create the effect. It's snapping back and forth once again. So it kind of goes like that, and then like that. And you have this sort of motion blur effect taking place, a cartoon motion blur effect 
with the fact that the head is trying to catch up to the rest of the body. Here is one more example. This time the mesh has been placed outside of the rig. That way it won't fall along with the character. Let's hide the character as well as the mesh. What I'm going to do here is just grab the magnet tool and come in and start creating a distortion within the mesh. Now we're bowing it out a little bit. What will happen here, which you'll see in a moment, is when the character passes through this part of the mesh, they will become distorted. So imagine if you will, if you have a scene, let's say you have a glass sitting on a counter, the character enters, they could appear distorted as the camera views the character through the glass, just as one example. Let's take a look now. We can turn the character back on and just view this. And as you can see, as the character passes through that part of the mesh, she becomes distorted. Adding some scenery to this, you could see how that could look pretty cool. The new Smart Warp feature opens up new possibilities for any type of animation style. For more information, tutorials, and to purchase Moho, visit moho.smithmicro.com.